Hey guys, welcome to uh, lesson four. We are going to talk about graphing logarithmic functions. And the main thing that you need to remember about this is it is exactly the opposite of what we did last week with the exponential functions. Okay, so think about this. Um, so when I say like we're going to add and how do you undo adding, you subtract it. Um, if we're going to multiply and we want to get rid of it, we divide it. So these are all inverses. So later we talked about like if you have, let's say a cubed root function, the inverse of that is going to be x to the third power, right? So we've talked a lot about like inverse properties. Well, this is just another one. So if you have like, you know, last week we talked about like having the x up in the exponent here. Um, so the inverse of that is really weird. And in the next unit, we're going to really get into logarithms and why we have it. But um, the inverse of this is called a logarithm. And so it would look like this. So notice um, you just really need to focus today with the graphing on like the way it's set up. So notice that this B is the base for the log. And then these just flip-flop either direction. Um, everything else, like as far as the way it's set up, is going to be the same. So like when we move these around, that H and K is not going to be any different. Um, this is still going to move it left and right. This is still going to move it up or down, like every other function that we've had. The only difference is, um, remember last week, this is where our um, asymptote came from. Well, this week with logarithms, this is where asymptote comes from. So asymptote comes from H. Oops. Um, so this K will not give us our asymptote this time. So that's going to be opposite. Um, some other other, sorry, some other opposite things are like the domain and range. So if you'll remember last week, the domain for the exponential functions was negative infinity, positive infinity. Well, now this week for the logarithms, that's going to be our range. So those are going to flip flop. Um, remember last week for the exponential functions, our range was like the asymptote and then positive, positive infinity. That is going to be our domain this time. So totally flip flop. Um, also last week, let's talk about this. Um, we had a horizontal asymptote. For these, you're going to have a vertical asymptote. So last week we had like y equals. This week we're going to have x equals whatever asymptote that is. And again, it's coming from the h instead of the k. So I think we covered everything um, there. These are going to feel really weird because you've never dealt with logarithms before. Um, and like I said, don't worry too much about like the meaning of it so much. We're just focusing on the graph this unit and the next unit we're really going to get into the meaning of it. Okay, so this weird thing, I want you to get used to it. So um, if we were going to change it to exponential form, so let's go back up here. We're going from this to this. So remember, the base is going to be our base for our exponent. And then we are going to flip flop these. So it'd be like 3 to the y power equals x. So I want you to set up these three. Um, and then when you come back, I'll have them all done. Okay, I want you to check your answers with what I have. Um, so really, you're just keeping that base the same and flipping the x and y. So I know it doesn't mean a lot to you right now, and that's okay. This is going to kind of be our jumping off point for when we graph. So we have to graph these guys and logarithms, that's not where our brain is. Like that doesn't make any sense to us right now. So we are gonna very first turn this into an exponential function just like we did up here. Um, and I'm gonna start with um, this table here. So I'm gonna say, let's see, that's gonna be two to the y power equals x. So this is gonna feel very backwards because we have our y like we're gonna, it has our y as our exponent, which is gonna equal our x. So what I want you to do is put in your notes, you're gonna start with your y.
So you're always going to start with your y column on here, which again is going to feel backwards, but it's going to be backwards um, to the exponential functions on everything. Um, I would stick with the numbers negative 1, 0, 1, 2. You don't have to. Those are probably going to give you your best numbers as far as just like being able to graph it over here. Okay, so let's go back. This should be a little bit familiar. So I'm going to say 2 to the negative 1 power. So I'm starting with this one. So 2 to the negative 1 power, it's not happy where it is, so we're going to flip it. So it's going to be 1 half. Okay, let's do this one. 2 to the 0 power is 1. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 to the second power is 4. Okay, so every other one we're going to add in um, like the H and K. And so we're going to modify it with this XY chart. But this one, notice it doesn't have an X and K, X or K. So, uh, sorry, H or K. Sorry, I misspoke. Um, so we don't need that one. So I'm just going to go over here and graph it. So 1 half negative 1, um, 1 0, um, 2 1, and 4 2. 1 2 3 4 1 2. Okay, so um, remember, we're dealing with a um, vertical asymptote. So vertical means up or down. So I want to come back here. I want you to make sure that you're making this connection, this up and down connection with log. So logs will always have a vertical asymptote. I always had to like drill that in my brain um, to help me remember that. So as I said, um, it deals with the H. So since there's no H here, then our vertical asymptote is going to be x equals 0. So um, so that's that boundary. So that kind of helps me figure out what I need to do. So my asymptote is going to go out that way. Sorry, that looks really bad. And out that way. So again, notice that boundary makes an L for log. Just remember that. Okay, so my domain. So remember, let's go back up here. My domain is going to be whatever my asymptote is to positive infinity. So in this case, it's going to be 0 to infinity. And the range will always be negative infinity, positive infinity. Any logarithm, it will always be that. Okay, so this one, um, we're, it's been shifted. So I don't care about that. So as the same thing as last week. We're just going to worry about the parent function over here, over on this one, and then we'll switch it over here. So I'm going to have 2 to the y power equals x. So I'll go ahead and put in those same numbers. Again, this is nothing you have to do. It just makes the numbers a little bit nicer. So 2 to the negative 1 power. Notice I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it's the same one as this one. So we have 1 half, 1, 2, and 4. Okay, so this tells me that I'm going to shift it up 3. So that affects my y's. So I'm going to add 3 to everything. So notice my x's are going to be the same. So my y's, I'm just going to add 3. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and graph it. Again, my vertical asymptote, there's no h. Um, so it's just going to be x equals 0 again. So I think I'll start there. So I know kind of where my boundary is. And so I have 1, I'm sorry, 1 half 2, 1 half 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So remember, they always get super close to the asymptote and then go away. So it makes that look. Notice it's very similar to the exponential look, except the exponential look does like that. So again, it's just the complete opposite there. Okay, my domain, 0 to infinity. The range is negative infinity, infinity. Okay, so let's go to this one. This is the first time that we're doing two things. We're um, moving the x's um, to the right, and then we're moving the y's up. 
So I have, um, this is a different base now. So I have three to the y power equals x. So again, start with the same numbers, just for consistency's sake. So this is going to be, sorry, no, 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 let me erase this. There we go. One third, one, three, and nine. Okay, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to add two, and I'm going to take these and I'm going to go up four. So I have two and one third, three, five, and 11. Um, here I have three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and graph it. Let's see, two and one third, one, two, three, about right there. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and eleven, six. I'll put it up there. Okay, so this time, look, we've got our H, so our vertical asymptote is going to be at x equals 2. So I'll go ahead and start there. And so it's going to go towards the asymptote. Like that. So my vertical asymptote here is x equals 2. My domain then is going to be 2 to positive infinity, and my range is going to be negative infinity infinity. Okay, so I want you to try this one on your own. This is the exact same. Um, see if you can do it and come back and I'll have this completed. Okay, so um, this is what I got for the last one. Um, notice that this x went to the left one and this is going down two. So I subtracted one and I subtracted two for my y's. Um, be really careful my numbers so make sure that they match up with yours. So this one, um, four to the negative one power. It's not happy, so it's gonna be one fourth. Four to the zero power is one. So I hope you're understanding that. And then I just take each of these and subtract one to get that, and each of these and subtract two to get those. Again, notice my vertical asymptote here at x equals negative one. I get it from that, that h, and um, that is consistent with my domain. So that is all we're going to do today. We're going to continue on um, with this topic tomorrow. So I will um, show you more tomorrow.